That was great. All right, so this is fun. So we've got time for, um, uh, I guess they're calling it the community discussion, so I get to come down from the stage. Does anybody have any questions or comments or anything that's going on you want to share with the group? What's going on? How are we? I feel a little bit like Phil Donahue. <laughs> <laughs> the revealing experience just gets you to there. Like, hello, everybody. It's beautiful to be here, and thank you. I love um, Reverend Catherine because we just get to have her once in a blue moon. So that's very nice. Thank, thank you. But um, today is a perfect uh, topic for me to share with you just because the perfect practice can be different to anybody, but just being perfect is whatever way you find that is perfect for you. But just being here is just perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, meditation, truly, I mm -hmm. believe it's the gate of the magical unfoldment of anything. And you can read it, you can be, you can hear it, you can listen, or, but if you don't take the time to connect in some way daily, I believe that that could be the key of anything. And talking about when um, Reverend Catherine was talking about that really disappearance is not what it is, I love this mantra that just resonate with me all the time. And every time you feel kind of doubtful or fearful or something not so good, I always think about it and it really helps. And the mantra says, I am more than what I appear to be. Mm -hmm. All the power and the strength of the universe rests in me. Mm -hmm. And if you truly repeat that several times, you start to understand that truly this is just an illusion because this is just the apparent um, physical body, but we're truly anything because everything in the universe is in you as we are one connected with all so so i just encourage you to just find a way to do it daily practice that beautiful sitting quiet stillness whatever you want to do in whatever way works for you it truly is amazing and i just feel that meditation opens up for everything effortlessly as you surrender and trust and that's it so Very say the, say that say the affirmation one more time okay <laughs> um I am more than what I appear to be. All the power and strength of the universe rests in me. And so with that mantra, you just truly really know this is not what I am. It's a good the one. truth is, is in it's me, a great one. and it's really powerful. So, thank, you. thank you. Fabulous meditation teacher, Soraya. All right, who else? Hi. <laughs> My new friend, Catherine. <laughs> so that was a great talk tonight. Thank, Thank you. you so much for that. And I was reminded of the quote from Wayne Dyer, we are a spiritual being having a human experience mm -hmm. rather than we are a human being having a spiritual experience. So to remember that we are spiritual beings and this is a human experience for us, but to bring us back to remembering who we really are mm -hmm. and that expresses through us as we put our awareness on it. It was a great message and I just was reminded of that quite a bit. So that's something that's been helpful for me. So I wanted to share it and thank you for sharing yours too. That was very helpful. Yeah. Great. And the other, the other piece of that is that um, once you do that, when you put your mind on that, then the laws of the universe change. I forgot to tell you that part. So when you start to remember that truth, all of the laws of the universe change, that you no longer are subject to, to all the things that happen on the outside. Grace works for you. So I forgot that part. So good, now I get to tell you. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> all right, anybody else? That's just a little thing, a little, you know, some little thing, you know, whatever. Just a little point of it. It changes everything, but whatever. Anybody else? Oh, yay, in the back. Here you go. Well, first of all, Reverend Catherine, you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome tonight. So sometimes I feel like, um, how do I handle the power? I, I, I'm feeling more and more how powerful mm -hmm. you, we are, all are. And it's like, oh my gosh. So it's like handling that. That's a good one. Um, <clears throat> I feel like, I, can I go back up front? Yeah. Can I go back up front? <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to do this or not, but we're doing it. <laughs> I don't like to have my back to anybody. Okay, so, all right. So um, <clears throat> what do I want to say about that? One breath at a time, I would say. When, when we start to feel ourselves expanding and changing and growing, you know, it feels a little shaky. It, it gets a little scary because all of a sudden um, you just 
feel like you're different in your body, or maybe you're not even in your body, or whatever. But the, but the idea is that if you are doing your consistent meditation practice and your, and your um, <sighs> breathing, truth is, that will allow you to get through any, any situation that's in front of you. You know, a lot of times when we hit trauma, we hit, even when we hit exciting moments, when we hit some kind of event, every, you know, most people, they go like that. And, oh my God, something's changing. Oh my God, I got a new thing going on. Oh my God, I'm in love. Oh my God, you know. <laughs> Something good, something bad, you know, it's just, we have the tendency to hold back and to, and to do that. And so the idea of, of remembering to connect with your breath, which is what connects us to the infinite breath, is going to allow you to move through the experience a little bit easier. Is that helpful? Oh, that's helpful. Okay, good, 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 good. Here you go. Hi. Um, Hi. That actually brought up something for me. Okay. So one of the things that I try to practice is the fact that the labels we put on things, so a lot of change we say is fearful, mm -hmm. um, this is scary, mm -hmm. whatever, but if you turn around and look at it as excitement, right? Excitement is, a good, is the, the good side of that. Well, everything could just be exciting mm -hmm. and expand that energy and expand your being and breathe, <laughs> but it's that you just keep feeling into it and it dissipates any worry or concern that you have. And it just seems to just float away. That's great. There's this um, comedian who does this bit called Everything is Amazing and Nobody Realizes It. Have you seen that? It's on, you can YouTube it. Um, you can, I, I, I highly <laughs> encourage you to do that. Now this is a comedian that in any other, in any other thing that he does, I would not support people watching because he's a little bit crass, he's a little bit on the edge. But he does this bit, he's on um, one of the late night shows and he talks about how amazing everything is in our life and nobody is recognizing it. So he, he's talking about sitting on an airplane, like, oh my God, I'm sitting on an airplane in the middle of the air, flying through the air, oh my God, this is amazing, you know? And everyone else is like, like, do, 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 whatever. But it's like reminding us that we could choose that way. We could choose to see any kind of change, any kind of expansion as joy-filled, you know? We don't, it doesn't have to be white-knuckling something, whatever it is. So, anybody else? What have we got? What's on your mind? We're good? We good? We ready for prayer? You think? Okay. I'd love to do that. Okay, great. So, I put this back up here. All right, so, first of all, I just want to thank everyone who had anything to do with the service tonight. I want to thank Ginny and Tim and Melanie and Jim and Aria, thank you so much. You guys make it so easy. And Candace, thank you so much. You make it so easy to be here. Um, walking in with five or six hours notice is easy when, you, when you're supported like, like we are here. And um, um, what did I want to say? I just want to let you know that there's some exciting, just because I'm here and just because I can, um, I want to let you know that there's some exciting things going on in the education department at Seaside. So go check out the education table. There's some really wonderful classes that are coming up. And one of them that I wanted to highlight is um, we, have a mass, we have a master practitioner, a master master practitioner here, um, Jackie Mayo. You may know her. She's, she's one of our most phenomenal uh, practitioners and she and her daughter Kathy Nelson are doing a, a class called the partnership way that starts next week and this is a whole new paradigm of being in relationship and of being in the world it's a powerful class and um, and uh, I'm not sure how uh, how long we're going to be able to have Jackie teaching for us um, uh, how much longer and it's like it's she's a legend and so I'm just trying to tell everybody I possibly can do it now because it's it's, it's a wonderful class, and I'm actually going to be in it, so um, I, I think it's so important. I'm going to take the class. It's really wonderful, so check it out, and, um, and um, there's so much going on at Seaside. Just come and hang out because it's really fun. So, all right, so with that, um, let's come to consciousness together here. Just taking a moment to go within, back into that inner sanctuary, into that inner realm. And again, breathing. I simply know that the infinite 
one, that divine one that has called each of us here together tonight is that powerful presence of God. That infinite spirit that is revealing itself in every experience, in everything that exists, simply is that powerful creation simply for, for the delight of the universe. And I know that each of us is that. I know that I am this. This life that is God's life, is my life, is each of our lives. And we come together in this moment simply to declare this life as good. For there is only this perfect revelation of wholeness here. There is only the perfect revelation of joy. And I know for anyone who is holding something heavy on their heart, it is held in the love and in the light. And wholeness is revealed. And peace is revealed. And harmony is revealed. And opportunity and potential is manifest. I know that anyone who is experiencing anything less than wholeness and fullness and health in the body feels and knows the truth of God in action right there where they are on a cellular level. And so there is only health and vibrance. And I am knowing this for our beloved Sunny. For each and every cell of her body is alive and alight with the true high vibration of God. And that the power of each of us coming together to know this, there is only that manifestation happening now. And so there is peace. There is peace in the mind and in the heart and in the body and in the affairs. That peace that passeth understanding. The foundation of all things. And it is the truth of our lives. And the experience in this moment and in every moment this week. And so I know we move outward, sourced, supported, loved, and adored from on high. With a grateful heart, I bless it. I bless this time. I surrender it knowing it is so good. And so it is. Amen. If we'd like to stand, Nari will lead us on our closing song. Thank you so much, Catherine, for stepping in today. Thank you, thank you. This is our prayer, a song of peace. We get to be the change we want to see. Join us all in the, for refreshments. Thank you all.
what's next where do we go what do we